Hi there, my name's Henry, I'm one of the technicians here at All Instruments and uh, today we're going to be looking on how to tune a drum. The drum I've got here today is a snare drum and uh, I've changed the skin on it already and uh, one of the reasons you can do this if you don't like the sound of the skin you're already using, if you're not getting the full potential out of the drum then you might want to put a new skin on for a different sound. Uh, there's various different types of skins you can use, coated and clear and uh, ones with sort of, you know, different types of muting and that sort of thing. Um, I've gone for a Remo coated ambassador today. Um, it gives a nice warm sound to a wooden drum. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, these are all at finger tight tension, just with one turn of the key. So with my with my key, I'm going to put one finger in the middle to keep the skin dead, and give it a half turn on either side. Now the idea of this is you keep them all equal, so every lug, the opposites have to be the same tension and the same, hopefully the same pitch. So this drum only has six lugs, so we've got just three pairs. So the first pair I'm going to be working on are either side here. So I've given half a turn. Now I'm going to hit the drum on each side, just gently with the key. And hopefully we're going to try and get the same pitch on either one. At the moment the skin's a bit loose to tell at this point, so we'll give it another turn on that side. Okay, so there's a half turn there. Next ones I'm going to do are these two lugs here. So again, thumb in the middle, half turn there, half turn there. Now by this time you'll have a bit of tension on the drum, so it's got some pitch to it. Okay, now finally I'll give the end to half a turn there, and half a turn there. Now we've got tension on the drum and pitches all the way around. As you can hear they're all different pitches at the moment, and now you can start to try and equal them up. So again, I'll start with these two. And you want to just lightly tap the drum and see which pitch is higher and, you know, get them to the same pitch. So the one to my closest to me is the lower of the two, so I want to tighten that up. Tuning drums takes a while to get the hang of, but a lot of it is experimenting and trial and error and that sort of thing, but after a while you get the hang of it. I'll move on to these two here. Both quite low at the moment, so I'm going to give them a full turn each. And now we'll look for some pitch. So one on the left is a bit lower, so we're going to tighten that up. Another one on the right, they're fairly equal. Now the remaining two lugs. At this point, the skin will be quite tight, so you don't want to too much, do too much on these. bit lower, tighten that up. Now th then those two are roughly in pitch. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail in this because obviously it's all about what sort of drum sound you like. Um, what I will say though, it's, it's, it's good to sort of put some weight on the drum sometimes with a fist, not too much, but to stretch the drum skin out a bit because obviously they can they can change in the, the weather and that sort of thing. So if you're in a particularly hot room and you change the temperature, it can affect the skin. Okay. Thanks very much.